In gadgets number 118, the build video for this HS402 Pro tested it at one-third the noise level of a commercially available USB oscilloscope. Not one to be complacent, Martin Lauren, the developer, offers us option two, which claims to further reduce it by another 50%. It all hinges on this little chip, a REF2033, with a cleaner reference voltage, which will replace the onboard reference of the F411. I picked up a couple of those REF2033 from LCSC.com. They were six bucks a piece. And for that to be able to take place, the F411 board itself must be modified. See this larger component right here, kind of in line with A2? It's an inductor, and we have to remove that from the F411 board. I use a soldering iron with a chisel tip. And then the rightmost pad has to be bridged to A2. I use the short piece of resistor lead. The so-called Genuine WEAC version 3.0 version of the F411 board has three components right in this area. It's the middle one, the larger of the three that we remove, and the same idea where we bridge to A2. I recommend that you flash the STM32 F411 board prior to the surgery uh, to confirm that you have a good board before you start and also that after the modification it cannot be flashed on a standalone basis it needs to be mounted on the circuit board and provision for 5 volt and ground and the two serial pins have been provided so you can flash it that way I've decided to implement the new pulse width modulation feature of H-Scope in this build. So I've made up this small header. This will be glued next to the USB on the project box. I use some 3M double adhesive tape to secure that small PWM header. The output is 1.5 volt, 20 milliamp. The frequency and the duty cycle are adjustable. I'll leave a link to Martin's video where he demos that feature. I've lined the aluminum box with double layers of duct tape as electrical insulation. And this fancy racing stripe is to differentiate the two builds. Moment of truth, right guys? HS402 option one, I've grounded the BNC. We're measuring across its full range, plus or minus 16.6 .6 volts. We're sampling at 800 kilosamples per second. And I'm measuring around 82 millivolts peak to peak of noise. HS402 option two, same settings, 45 millivolts. Now that's very close to that 50% claim. Pretty good. But I'm a sucker for cheering for the underdog, if we can call it that. Like this is already three times quieter than a commercial USB oscilloscope. And so much cheaper and easier to build. And in practical use, especially in our automotive work, I don't think that you would really notice the difference. All the relevant links for these projects are in the description box. If you run into a snag, as I have on this build, there's help in the HScope Telegram group. We'll see you there.